You may hear him. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Guys, there's nothing like boxing, and there are no athletes like fighters. And welcome to J. Cotto's Fight Page. Happy Friday, man. <laughs> so what's up, guys? Happy Friday. We finally made it. Another week. The fuck out of here. The weekend's here. Safe sex, condoms and ginseng for everybody you know what's going on. Well, this weekend we've got a couple of fights. Before I get into that, I just want to say thank you very much uh, to YTBC student for giving me a shout out on this video. And I completely agree with you. Oh, excuse me, I got hiccups, I ate too fast. I completely agree with you, my man. Um, definitely, I'm definitely, you stand, you stand by my side, I'll stand by your side, my brother, I got you. You know what I mean? Um, we do have to bring unity, unity into the YTBC, but you do have to understand there are a couple of channels out there that have been bought, so it's going to be very hard. But we'll deal with the ones that are willing to link up and just do what we have to do in order to bring the unity within the community. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you on that. I'd like to say peace to uh, the Fight Guru, 10 Players, Blood Boxing. Lucky Nang Nang, Hulk Mr. One, uh, Hulk Mr. 333. I mean, it keeps going on and on, man. Everybody in the watch TBC, man, just peace to y'all, man. Um, you know, this weekend we've got some boxing going on. We've got Terrence Crawford going to go, going up against uh, uh, De'Ari Jean. And um, if I'm not mistaken, a couple other fights as well. So, without any further ado, let me give you the Friday Night News. And we'll go into the evidence room. Well, Louis King Congo Tiz... Uh, we'll be going up against Brian Jennings, all right, on December nineteenth on HBO. And I tell you, I tell you right now, man. Um, that last fight that King Kong had, man, knocked that motherfucker out. Now Brian Jennings is not going to be a walk in the park. No, he's not. I agree, he's not. But with big shots like that coming from King Kong, he's got to be very fucking careful, kid. Very careful. Canelo says Golovkin must meet him at 155 at that catchweight in, o in order to fight him. Now, everybody is finding a problem with this, and I'm happy, you see, because this is exactly what the fuck is wrong with this A-side, B-side shit. We don't give a fuck. We don't care. We don't really care who's A-side. A we don't really care who's B-side. Just get the fucking ring. Put the motherfucking gloves on, have your cup on, put your fucking mouthpiece, mouthpiece in, let's get some fucking regulation, fucking Vaseline on and get it on. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it on. Let's fucking box. But these motherfuckers, I want to come out first. Oh, I want him at 155. Canelo's talking shit that when he sparred GGG, he didn't feel his power. But yeah, you want him at 155. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to call fuckery all day, all, all fucking day, Canelo. Don't tell me you actually going to, you actually going to fucking bitch out. You're actually not going to take this fight. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? 155. Really? That has yet to be seen. Man. Eubank Sr., Chris Eubank Sr. He, uh, Eubank Sr. allows Adam Booth to train Eub Eubanks Jr., excuse me. And, uh, I just have to see it like this, man. Um, Eubanks Jr. will be a great addition to the States, especially with the middleweight division. 
he will be a great addition. As well as Maidana if he comes back middleweight. You know, I can see Eubanks Jr. doing his thing. You know? I also see him fighting big names as well. You know, Andre or Andrade wants to fight. Well, here you go. Anybody else? There you go. You know? Now, the numbers are still soaring here. But when I was listening to the boxing voice the other day, for some reason they wanted they wanted the Lemieux Golovkin pay per view numbers to stay at fifty thousand. And they kept saying that it only sold fifty thousand. Then it was hundred and twenty five thousand. But it's really hundred and fifty thousand. And this was Gennady's, what, first pay-per-view, man? All you fucking guys out there, and this, and, these, and, and this will only be people that follow the prize fighter from Vegas. You guys are expecting Golovkin to sell, what, 300000 500000 a mil? How is that possible when we got people like you fucking guys still waiting on the arrival? But he's gone. Right? Numbers don't lie. All that shit. All these numbers prove is that boxing is coming back to the way it was. And as well, it's broken records. This fight has broke records, arena records, in Madison Square Garden. Okay? The highest ticket selling as well as selling out fight ever in Madison Square Garden so you guys if you're gonna talk the bad talk the good as well you see because a lot of people didn't know that because they're too busy trying to shame a fucking 150,000 pay-per-view buy from a guy whose first fucking his first pay-per-view was there main event thing like you know what I'm saying what are you expecting what are you expecting Tell me, what, what, what are you expecting? Floyd's numbers? You're expecting the price fighters from Vegas numbers? Well, I'll tell you what. I guarantee you that if he fights if he fights Canelo or Cotto, it's definitely going to get up there. So all you fucking fanboys of the price fighter from Vegas need to stop this shit. And everybody who's just a fan of numbers, you're looking at the wrong sport. You know what I'm saying? You're looking at the wrong sport. You know, what should be looked at here is that Golovkin and Lemieux did pretty good. And he stood by himself. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee the next pay-per-view, it's, go it, it's going up there. Oh, believe that. It's going up there. You know what I mean? People just coming back. They're coming back from actually replenishing their wallets. You know what I mean? You also got to understand, these things take time. And especially real boxing fans now, we're on some shit where we're like, no, this motherfucker got to prove something to me. He's got to definitely prove something to me. And unless he proves something to me, I ain't buying shit. See? So, there you go. Pacquiao versus Matisse is possible for early 2016. Okay? I'll tell you right now, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like it. Because if, if Postal outboxed Matisse, imagine what Manny's going to do to him. I don't like it. I don't like that fight. Cecilia Brockhaus, undisputed women's champion, will be fighting uh, Ramona Cuny. And uh, it's being made, and it's great to see our female champion in there again. You know, personally, this was the uh, this was the young lady, the young woman that I had uh, saved the prize fighter from Vegas from when Ronda Rousey wanted to wanted to fight and whatever. Remember that? And I came out with a video, and I and, and I aired her out, I told her to fight Cecilia. Notice how shit just stopped. Hashtag come back to boxing. Anyway, and finally, 
Nick Walters will be facing Jason Sosa. Okay? Uh, as well as Triple G is considering a fight with Eubanks Jr. So, if Canelo wins, and he Mayweather's the whole, and mind you, I made that all up. So if you, I made that shit up. I made it a terminology, just like fuckery. So if you see anybody saying, why are you Mayweathering the question, or why are you Mayweathering, came from yours truly. Just remember that. But um, my man's Mayweathering the whole situation now. So if Canelo wins and he Mayweathers the five, the five pounds at 160, I mean, really? Then I, I don't think Gennady's going to take it and he's going to be like, fuck you. And what he's going to do is he's going to go for Eubanks Jr. You know? And that fight will sell as well. On top of him having his uh his fan base overseas in the UK. Eubanks Jr. that is. So, either way, it's a win-win for Gennady. But kato has got to stop being the stop being a bitch with this A side shit. You know, a lot of guys use this A side shit for advantages. And all of those, all you got, all you guys out there that are with that. Oh, but I'm saying though, wouldn't you use the advantage if you had it? No, because then that's cheating. But let me, but let me guess, you ain't winning if you ain't cheating. So why the fuck, what the fuck are you anyway? Let me, let me take you to the evidence room, and I just want to tell you guys that uh. All the trolls from YouTube have now moved to Facebook. See, me and our uh, Reef from Newark, RFN Boxing Network, hashtag come back to boxing, my man, and Andre Lewis, we got it in with a couple of brothers, man. Because they said that uh, Adrian Broner would actually beat Terrence Crawford. Now, their whole thing was names on Broner's side. Oh, look at Broner's resume. Look at Broner's resume. Okay. Look at it, look at his resume. Big names, he comes up short. You know what I mean? His shoulder rules made in Taiwan. His footwork he needs more help. You know what I mean? But yeah, here comes Terence Crawford from top rank. Who's boxing the way he's gotta box? Oh, Gamboa is weak. Oh, who the fuck is Gamboa? Gamboa got... But that's where he started from. And now, he's in Light Welter. And Light Welter, they've got cats like Nicholas Walters, Matisse. I mean, the list goes on and on. Shit. He could even get it on with old ass Judah if he wanted to. See? Only thing I like about Adrian Broner is that he calls out big names. Okay? He called out Maidana. They told him not to take it because he wasn't ready. And he lost. You guys actually think that Adrian Broner would beat Terrence Crawford? Answer that question tomorrow after his performance. After, after Terrence Crawford's performance, come back to this video and give me your thoughts. Don't give me your thoughts now. You know what I'm saying? Don't give me your thoughts now. Let's make it an even playing field where, where okay, we just saw Adrian Broner fight, so you hold the, you hold that up, right? And now you're gonna tomorrow you're gonna see Terence Crawford fight. Then you hold that up and you weigh it out. And once you weigh it out and you see, God damn, see, cause Ter Terence Crawford he's aggressive, man. Where, where do you see aggressiveness in uh, Adrian Broner? That's not gonna win a fight. That's not gonna win a fight. Then on top of that, they say Crawford don't hit hard. Crawford doesn't hit hard? Really? Okay. No problem. I just want to say that uh, this, this, this casual shit, this fanboyism, this cheerleading squad that you guys are in, you have to stop it. You have to stop it. If anything is going to upgrade... It's the way you see things, the way you're looking at this sport, bro. How the fuck are you going to tell me that Broner never fought at welterweight? But he fought Chino Maidana. 
and E4. Porter. Regardless, it was a catch weight, 144. It was still well to weight. So when Broner went down, Garcia went up. When Garcia went up, 147, Broner went down. Why do you think? What do you think that is, man? What do you think that is? Then they give him a fucking trinket. They give him the belt. Here you go. A gift that he didn't deserve. And these fucking guys out there are, oh, but I'm saying, though, you know, uh, it was up for grabs, and it was vacant, and yeah, but somebody else within that weight could have fought for that title, could have fought Alacrity for that title. You feel what I'm saying? Broner just lost. So this is what it is, the Heyman Protection Program. That's all your fucking boxers are going to do. That's all that your favorite boxers that are signed with Al Heyman are going to do. <gasps> They're going to hide behind Uncle Al. It's funny how Uncle Al told him, don't fight my Donna. Don't do it. Don't fight him. And look what happened. He fucking lost. So now what are you going to tell me? Now what are you going to tell me? You're going to, oh, but I'm saying though he has more wins. Of course he does. Oh, Terrence Crawford is 28. And? The fuck does that have to do with anything? See, you guys don't know shit about boxing. You pull, you pull all these things out of your asses. Right? You're shooting a gun with no fucking blanks. You've got no fucking ammo. When you're coming at me, man. You know what I'm saying? You got no ammo. So... I will say it again. Just like everybody that's watching this video now is going to agree with me. When you do agree with me, just write down on the comment section, casuals need to, to die. That's all I need you to do if you agree with me. Because uh, this is exactly what I told them. You guys need to die out. Not die physically. No, God forbid. I don't wish that on nobody. You know what I'm saying? But you guys need to die out and stop being a fan of a boxer and be a boxing fan. You feel what I'm saying? So, basically, you guys will agree with me when I say that when Danny Garcia came up, Adrian Broner went back, went back down. You know what I'm saying? And he did fight at welterweight, regardless if it was catchweight. So you guys don't know shit about boxing. I'm talking about those guys that were that that was in the boxing forum or hardcore boxing piece of Sergio Garcia. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and everybody else up in hardcore boxing uh, forum. But uh, I, had, I had to air these motherfuckers out. They didn't know. They had no fucking idea what they were talking about. The guy tells me, uh, but they call that a catch rate of 144. That's really welter. And, and I'm the casual. Yeah, you are the fucking casual. You were a casual. You definitely are a casual. But anyway. It's just the evidence, man. Let the evidence fucking stand, all right? That Terrence Crawford will be a well-rounded off boxer, a better, a better well-rounded off boxer than Adrian Broner. Because as you can see, Adrian Broner is just giving prizes, trinkets. Adrian Broner is just basically saying. Sailing, he's sailing. So, I guess Errol Spence is not in the picture at the moment, right? I guess uh, other young talent not in the picture at the moment, right? But I, but I will say this though: you guys got to look out for El Diamante Verdejo, okay? You guys got to. You guys got to look out for a couple of prospects that are out there that are becoming well-rounded with their skill. See, there's so many boxers out there right now that are coming in and doing what they have to do. But most of you, most of you guys just ride the fucking prize fighter from Vegas and everybody on his team. They're all dirty. They all fucking got caught using fucking performance-enhancing drugs. You know what I'm saying? Usually they get knocked the fuck out. Look at Jay Leon Love. I mean, come on, Joe. It's really only one worth something there is bottle jack and not even and not even so let's keep it real man let's keep it real come back to boxing you know what I mean you've got to 
because the more you, you try to get at us with this shit, the more we're going to shut you down and embarrass you. And then you're going to face more ridicule. You know what I'm saying? Every time you guys come up here, inside of these fucking boxing forums, you state the same thing. And we've defeated you in so many ways. Then people in the YTBC, you've got some channels, thanks to Blood, Blood Boxing's uh, internal investigations, they're buying fucking subs, subscriptions. So half of y'all don't really do hard work. Half of y'all ain't shit. Half of y'all don't know what you're doing. Right? So, me and YTBC student and hashtag come back to boxing movement is just basically telling y'all to link up and get along. And stop bashing each other. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm still waiting for Holy Man to come and, and try to correct my shit. Because I'll tell you right now, brother. You just started watching boxing in 2012. I know the lowdown on you, my man. It wouldn't be fair. That's like Pacquiao fighting Malignaggi, nigga. You Malignaggi and, and I'm Pacquiao. I'd spank you in a debate. You know what I'm saying? I'd spank you all around. You know who the fuck you are. Making videos on the YTBC, criticizing everybody, trying to, trying to stir the pot. Motherfucker, when are you coming out with any boxing news? When are you coming out with any material besides you hating the next uploader? When? When? When are you going to do this, holy man? You come out with your incense, with your fucking kufi, and you start, you know, I don't like this guy. I don't like the way this guy does this. <gasps> I don't like the way this guy is talking. You know, Fox, you need to do Listen, man, listen, listen, listen. Wash your ass. Sit the fuck back. And watch how real people from the YTBC do this shit. Stop hating. Straight up. I'm waiting for you to get at me. I've got a pack. I've got a send away package for you, brother. I've got a package that when I'm done with you, you are definitely, definitely never going to upload again. Believe that. Believe that shit. I had one dude who can't even hold his fucking liquor on a little small bottle of motherfucking Hennessy. And you want to talk man shit? You know who you are too, man. Fuck y'all. Anyway, peace to the YTBC. Each and every one of y'all rock. Peace to every fucking subscriber that's out there that subscribe to me or anyone else that I'm down with in the YTBC. And YTBC, let's get our shit together, man. Let's start collaborating. Let's start collaborating. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise than that, I'm Jay Cotto. Thank you for joining my fight page. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And um, don't forget, man. Yeah, I'm not a man. I'm 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 a